A very common mistake, which I often see a lot of people tend to do, is when they try to pull in the clutch all the way in when shifting or doing slow speed riding. The thing is, that once you start releasing the clutch, at some point it starts to engage and then, when you release it more and more, it pulls you forward more and more. All this area from clutch completely pulled in to the biting point pretty much does nothing. There is no difference if you pull in the clutch all the way or just past the biting point. In this whole area your clutch is disengaged. But then, when you need to release the clutch again, let's say for example you switched gear. If you pulled in the clutch all the way, now first you'll spend more time releasing it, which is not that long, but it makes some difference when you switching gears or trying to catch your bike with clutch on slow speed. Second, in this case, your clutch plates will have a little smack, which don't improve your smoothness. If you instead pull the clutch just past the biting point, when you start to release it, it will engage smoother and you'll have virtually no time with no power on rear wheel. So, try to develop a muscle memory for where exactly your clutch biting point is. And when you need to pull in the clutch, pull it in just past this biting point, just enough to disengage the clutch. You don't need to pull it in all the way. Then you can test your muscle memory by taking off on the incline. When you really develop a good feel and muscle memory for your clutch, you'll take off pretty easily. If you feel your bike rolls back a bit before going forward, chances are you are still pulling in the clutch a little bit too far. So that's it, quick tip for beginner rider. If you like this short quick format, put a like. Maybe I'll make more short videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!